10 most epic battles in fantasy movies and TV shows. Enormous battle sequences are a fantasy genre staple, and some stand out as the best in movies and TV shows. Given the immense box office success of The Lord of the Rings and Harry Potter films, along with the cultural acclaim for HBO's Game of Thrones, fantasy has become one of Hollywood's biggest markets in the 21st century. These projects set a gold standard for large-scale battles, showing high-stakes wars with added fantasy elements like dragons and magic. With high standards set by massive films and shows, it's fair to say that the best battles require high production value and believable CGI. But narrative value is also a significant factor. The sack of King's Landing in Game of Thrones Season 8 is a well-constructed, high-budget battle sequence, but it's tainted by poor narrative decisions. Oppositely, the Battle of Hogwarts in Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows, Part 2 elicits a powerful emotional response due to the narrative implications for many characters involved. With one season of primarily build-up, HBO's House of the Dragon hasn't seen much battle. Still, Episode 3 saw the final battle of the War of the Stepstones, where Daemon Targaryen ended a several-year-long war by single-handedly drawing out the Crabfeeder's forces from the caves they'd hidden away in. The battle cleverly shows Daemon's combat prowess and that he can fight dirty when he has to. Rather than leading men into battle, he goes rogue and handles things independently. The House of the Dragon Season 2 trailer showed much larger battles on the way. While less acclaimed than Peter Jackson's Lord of the Rings, his prequel Hobbit trilogy still caps off with an epic battle. The Battle of the Five Armies shows different fighting styles of elves, orcs, and dwarves put to use, and it's filled with great characters like Thorin, Thranduil, and Bard trying to survive amidst the chaos. In terms of scale, the Battle of the Five Armies is hard to top, but the overt CGI usage gives it a strange, unnatural look that pales in comparison to the authentic feeling of battles in the Lord of the Rings trilogy. Avatar, The Last Airbender is one of the most beloved animated shows ever made, and The Siege of the North is the climactic battle of season 1. The finale is as cinematic as short-form cartoons get, split into two episodes, with significant character moments in both. Katara's evolution as a waterbender is a huge step forward for her progression, and Aang's It's Not Over line and his merging with the ocean spirit are some of the show's best moments. Many of Hayao Miyazaki's films dip into fantasy elements, but Princess Mononoke is the closest to all-out epic fantasy. Its climactic battle features giant boars, wolves, and humans hoping to hunt the forest spirit. Taking place in Iron Town and the surrounding forests, the multifaceted battle sees Ashitaka and San trying to keep peace while Lady Ebashi goads conflict. Auteur filmmaker Miyazaki's style is fully displayed in his most brutal film. The original Chronicles of Narnia movies had mixed reviews, but in terms of a high fantasy battle, the climactic battle of Baruna is hard to top. Both sides, filled with various creatures, meet on opposing ends of the field. The mix of mythological creatures, animals, and human characters adds an element of excitement to the battle, and the Chronicles of Narnia movie has one of the best soundtracks in fantasy movies, adding to the build-up before the sides clash. The Battle of Baruna is a ton of fun and is incredible for a fantasy film geared toward younger audiences. Game of Thrones Season 1 didn't have many battles, as the series was still on a relatively low budget. However, Season 2 with the penultimate episode Blackwater, proved that television could be just as epic as any movie. The wildfire explosion of Stannis's fleet is one of the most insane visual spectacles in the entire series, but even after losing a significant force, the battle rages on. It's the first time in the series that the Lannisters actually seem vulnerable, with an overwhelming force breaching King's Landing head-on.